everyone, my name is V, and I know that there's quite a lot of new faces on my channel from my Moscow videos, so welcome if you haven't met me yet. I hope you enjoy staying on this channel, and I realized that I hadn't done anything even remotely similar to a favorites video for such a long time, and I decided to just collect 10 of my favorite things at the moment and show them to you all, so let's get right into it. Number 10 is my Olympus Trip 35 camera. I still haven't developed the film, so it's gonna be a Pandora's box, a total surprise, but we're gonna see. And this is a film camera, a very old school one, the end of 60s or beginning of 70s if I'm not wrong, and it has automatic exposure adjustment, which is really convenient for someone who's a beginner user. It just sets the light on its own and you don't really have to fiddle around with it too much. I got it on Etsy, I can leave a link down below, and it's also the perfect little size. Number nine is my name necklace that I got on Etsy as well and this is just oh, I love it so much because this name necklace is exactly the same font as what I've created as my logo B. I wear it every single day it's so beautiful and if I need to say my name to someone and they don't understand when I say B then I'm like that's how you spell it. Number eight, and this is half empty already, is the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. Incredible moisturizer, very light. It seeps right into your skin, so it's really easy to apply makeup right after. It's fully vegan, natural, organic, all of that good stuff, and it's from Malibu. Actually, do you guys like the new Miley Cyrus song, the one that's called Malibu? Because I listen to it, and I'm not a fan of Miley Cyrus at all, and it just makes me feel so happy inside. Like, it's such a great song. This is a very random thing to show as a favorite, but it is a swimsuit from the brand Naked and you guys can actually get a discount using my code and it's going to be down below in the description box. I've noticed that these kind of spaghetti strap tops with like a straight line have been really popular recently and they were just sold out of the top but I found a swimsuit on the site and it's even better. It's like squishes everything together, makes it look all nice and round and perfect and perky. You can take off all your clothes and go swimming because it's a swimsuit. Um, it looks like a top if you just put it into high-waisted jeans and yeah, it's basically perfect. Um, I'm gonna wear this so much and it just suits my body and looks really great so I really recommend getting something like this because it's very very versatile and very easy. A massage mitt, like a really tiny little pink one from Soap and Glory. Any kind of brushy things, they irritate your skin way more but this is silicone it is tiny it is so easy to travel with I just put some face wash on it and just like gently rub my skin it massages it it evens it out it you know like gets blood going into your skin since it's silicone it really grips all of your makeup and removes everything perfectly so you can go to bed with really clean skin number five is a book I have been dying to tell you guys about and this is by Darren Asimoglu and James Robinson why nations fail my love for this book is absolutely unmeasurable. <laughs> we were recommended this in my economics course in development economics in university and I had it lying around at home for some reason. Still haven't finished it, which I'm really happy about because I'm currently studying for exams and I don't really have a lot of time to read. They argue that the reason why states don't develop is mainly because of institutions and they give so many examples of countries and all kinds of time periods and it's really amazing how they just put everything together to form their argument basically even if you don't care about development economics this is like world history in one book it's incredible and it's so interesting and well written these two guys are my favorite economists i'm very passionate about them and jesus what i would give to like meet them in real life they're amazing <laughs> Number four is my favorite perfume, and I am a Tom Ford girl when it comes to perfume. Tom Ford Black Orchid. Probably have heard about it, it's the most insane smell. It's very sweet, but it's kind of musky. It smells a little bit of like tobacco, and it's like a very deep scent. Like, go to a drugstore, smell this. It's expensive as... F. Um, actually, my mom didn't need this perfume, so she gave it to me, so technically I haven't even bought it myself, but I am absolutely in love. Three is the app called Depop, and you've definitely heard of it. It's basically a place where people can sell either vintage clothes or their own old clothes, and I've gotten so many vintage things recently and I'm absolutely in love with, you know, giving clothes a second chance and um, I'm currently actually wearing something that I thrifted. Do you guys want to see, like, a thrift store haul from me? Because I've collected quite a bit of things that I could show you guys. I'm actually selling some things on my own Depop as well that I really need for them to like go before I finish uni. This is like my little Depop shop. For example, like one of the things I'm selling is this ombre um, fur coat. I can show it to you right now. Oh, by the way, yeah, I am wearing dollar sign shorts while filming. It's very, very soft, very fuzzy. It's like this gray, beautiful ombre and I really want for it to find a home as well as the other things. There's also a Prada bag there and another fur coat. Um, yeah, I've only worn this like 
three times and really don't need it, but someone might want it more than I do. So yeah, Depop's great, very addicting, more addicting to me than Instagram. I just scroll through it at night to like see what else I can get that's vintage and like unique and different than everyone else has. Number two is an artist I never got into and that's Lana Del Rey and I don't know why, but my best friend Anna, who's also my housemate, just like randomly played National Anthem one day and I never liked Lana Del Rey. Now for some reason it just like got through to me. She's so old Hollywood, she's so true to herself and I really like her songs and I think my favorite album is um, the second one, Ultraviolence, and my favorite song is Florida Kilos. It's about drugs, but it's a really great song. <laughs> Actually, let me play it. Absa fucking loot savior and I spent quite a generous chunk of my money um, on it but oh, it's amazing. This is called a new face and it's this face massager tool that sends like electrical currents through these metal things and um, I use it once a day for about 15 minutes. Another YouTuber used it and talked about it and I was like shit that sounds like something exactly like I need. I'm quite a um, cheeky girl. Um, if I gain a little bit of weight, it goes straight to my face. I literally blow up like a balloon and I really, really don't like it. It's changed my face shape dramatically. I can't even tell you. I finally have like a little bit of cheekbones. I have some structure, like there is a shadow underneath here. I do have a clinical condition. I might even need to get jaw surgery because my jaw's kind of like growing inwards into my neck, if that makes sense. But this has helped so much. It activates your muscles to work out and like tighten everything. And this can be used for um, anti-aging purposes too. If you have wrinkles, it can like straighten them out on your forehead or anywhere else. I really like it. I think it's done a magical job on my face. It's also very relaxing to like have your coffee and just do a little massage on your face in the morning. Yeah, if you have a similar problem and feel like your face is just taking over the world, then I really recommend this. So that was it for my favorites video and I hope you guys enjoyed going through all of my favorite stuff with me and let me know in the comments if you want a thrift haul. Um, I would love to do that and yeah, I will see you all in my next video and make sure to watch my other videos after this as well as click subscribe down below, right there. I'd be really happy and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all and goodbye.